Hey everyone, this is Gleb Bakhmutov and today I will show my new project that I coded up yesterday called Cypress Think. It's kind of a replacement for Cyprompt command that requires Cypress Cloud subscription. If you've never seen Cyprompt, Artyom Bandar has a pretty good video showing how to use this. Let me show how you can use Cypress Think and just one disclaimer, the repo is public but I haven't really abstracted it to a reusable command just yet. In a sense, this will be writing Cypress tests by using your own AI without relying on Cypress Cloud. But here's how it works in action. Imagine I have this Cypress spec. I'm going to a page and I'm looking at the form and it's not submitted and then it is submitted. So in between, I need to enter some values into the input fields, press submit, and then the form should be submitted. I'm gonna open Cypress and this is the inputs test. And right now it's failing because we're not doing anything. What we wanna do is in this form, enter something and then click submit. And then this form will have class ng submitted. Now, typically we would look at the markup and we would write normal Cypress command like site get, that type, um, and so on. And we have to look up selectors and AI can actually do this for us. It can look at this element's current HTML, that's the key. It should not look at the source code, it should look at the current HTML and see what is the best selector for this input. What's the best selector for this input? And the way we can write this without thinking about the details using Cypress Think is like this. And I'm just gonna move it to the side and I'll say, okay, so we have this element and um, we're gonna use this think command that I created. So right here we will say enter text, let's say Joe uh, S into the, what's this, this is, I guess the username field and this one is the email field. Okay, into the username field. And I'm just gonna save this, okay? And notice what Cypress Think is doing. It works with this element, okay? And the first line in the thing, in the thought is enter the text. And it translates this prompt, this one sentence in to this site get input placeholder, right? And you can see that it executes this, right? And there's a little bit of scrolling, but before and after. Okay, so notice it entered things in the right input box. So it translated just that line using the current DOM and the prompt. And right now form still hasn't been submitted because we need to enter the email and click submit button. So I can say, enter email, let's say joe at acme.com into the email field. And when I save this, now it has two prompts, right? The first line that we already have done, and you can see that there is a lightning bolt and it goes pretty quickly because it reuses cached responses from the AI generation. So the first command already was done the second one, it had to generate and notice it generated correctly and entered the joe at acme.co email in the right box. Now we just have to click on the submit button. So click the submit button. Okay, first two commands were cached and it generated a command from the prompt to click on the submit button. Notice how it says I contain button submit, click. And notice the test is passing because the form has been submitted, right? If we run it now, it uses just cache responses, so it goes by very, very quickly. A couple of things while local bring your own AI is useful. First of all, we don't need online services except your own AI client. You can write your own client, local llama, cloud, whatever you want. You can look at the example that I've done I have some basic instructions on how to write Cypress tests. I'm passing HTML of that element and it even discovers agent specific config so that you can give instructions on how you want elements to be found, interacted and so on. So for example, I really prefer site contains with selector and text to a chain of site get selector contains text. 
and that's why it said site contains button submit. So you can give specific project instructions and they'll be included in the prompt. Hopefully your instructions are not too verbose because we keep track of how many tokens we use for each line. And if we use cached response, then those tokens are not uh, wasted again or used again, they're saved. Another thing that you might notice if you look at the project, you have a file with all the cache generate responses locally. So you can see what each thing does. You can reuse it, you can commit and reuse a new project so that there is a live translation that works. This is only updated if it actually passes the test. Finally, if we go back to our input um, spec, so we have this prompt and at some point while well, the test is passing, so we don't need the actual prompt. So if a test is green or if that approach, I think command is passing, it says thinking accomplished and there is a button to save and replace the prompt with actual commands. And notice right now all the SciFink commands are gone. And if you look at the spec file, notice it replaced SciFink with actual commands and it just keeps the original lines as comment. So that's our final generated local test that you can uh, use in your source code. So that was Cypress Think, bring your own AI and generate Cypress tests from natural language using the actual DOM step by step. Check out Cypress Think repo. I will try to make it into a reusable NPM package that will be really use, really easy to use in your projects. Uh, open any GitHub issues if you find something or you see something suspicious. And I think this is something very exciting.